job. He's, even the, he's applied for it because he's already not telling the truth. He's saying he will support Donald Trump when, when on occasion. Let me tell you something. He never will support Donald Trump. I mean, he, he, will, not, he will not ever support Donald Trump. And so uh, what's going to happen? If he gets elected, and Lord help us if he does, if he gets elected, uh, you can kiss the Second Amendment goodbye. Amen. You can kiss the Supreme Court appointees that are going to get us on the right track for years and years goodbye. Uh, and um, it, do you believe for a minute that the Democrat leader of the Senate will allow him to vote for Donald Trump? None of the Democrat senators have voted for Donald Trump or our bills, Republican bills, good bills, necessary and important and critical for America. They don't do it. So here comes Phil Bredesen saying he's going to help Donald Trump on occasion. He won't. Let me tell you what, he won't. So I was a Bob Corker supporter when he ran, when he re-ran. And this time, too, I would have supported him. But he's not running. Uh, <coughs> it's important for us to get together. It's important for us to set aside the past, when we may on occasion have had some fierce competitions. We are the party of America. We're the party of what's right. We cannot lose that, the governorship. We cannot lose the Senate seat. So let's get together. Let's figure out how we can work together and elect a Republican to the Senate and the governorship.